Good morning. Um, today I'm going to do my take on a creamy chicken noodle casserole. Now in here, I'm going to tell you the ingredients. First, let's start with that. I got four potatoes here that I've already diced and boiled in my bowl right here. They're already done. You don't want them to quite fall apart, but they can be mushy. It doesn't matter. You're really only using the starch in them, okay? Now I have all the ingredients below. I got chicken out of a can, use juice and all. I've got one can of peas and carrots, absolute cheap as you can find, drained, and use the peas and carrots only. I've got a can of cream of chicken soup, cheap as you can find, a can of cream of broccoli, cheap as you can find. I've got salt, and I've got pepper. I've got one pound of egg noodles that are already boiling behind me. That's why I started the video, because I'm getting ready to get them shortly. This is going to all go really fast, and you'll be amazed. And I got Neuer's Chicken Bouillon, all right, which I'm going to go ahead and put two teaspoons in my potatoes. Now I'm going to pull you back over here. I'm going to set you aside for a minute. Uh-oh. Let me get my noodles. They're trying to boil over on me. All right. Let's move you that way and move you right here. All right. Now, I have went ahead and opened everything, period, that I have. Everything that I've shown you, I've got it opened over here off the camera. And we're going to just combine it all in a bowl. Okay. Put you in the sink. My drained peas and carrots are going in. Now, we're going to wait till last to salt this till I taste it. And you want your oven preheated to about 250. You do not want it to bake, but you want it to heat through. That's all you want to do. And I'm going to give it a generous sprinkling of pepper. Maybe a half a teaspoon, okay? Now I want to combine all this together. This is all of our mixture. We're just waiting on our noodles. And I'll reserve some of that liquid in case I need some of it to make it just a little bit better. Okay? I'm going to lay a towel here so I can bring the pasta over here. I want y'all to be able to see me at it. Now this... This is mine, Mama, and Albert's. And maybe Michael if he shows up. So, I'm going to taste it. Normally, if I was taking it somewhere, I would use a spoon. No salt whatsoever. Doesn't need any salt. Tastes pretty damn good. I mean, excuse me, dang good. Alright. Alright. Okay. My noodles are where I want them. Now, I'm going to take my spider and get my noodles out, and I'm going to add them in. Don't worry about draining them too much. The liquid is not going to hurt. And I thought about it. I was going to make this. I said, well, I've never made this for camera, so make it for camera. I think I've got all my noodles out. Yep, I do. Now we're going to move you over there. And you want to make sure this is stirred really well. Toss it all together. And those noodles are just getting al dente. So we want to take and add a little of this water. Just a little of this starch water. And we want it to be a little soupy when it warms up. Because the noodles will soak all of that water up. Okay. 
We are just about there and we add a little bit more water. This is why you keep your starch water. So you don't have to just add regular water. That's why I barely, usually only barely cover my noodles. I boil my potatoes in the same water that I boil my noodles. Okay. Alright. Let's see how that tastes. Don't want just peas. That is perfect. I want a little bit more pepper. And again, I have everything below that you've seen me add. Now it may need a little salt, really. Just a little. Now, my family are salt people. We love salt. So, sadly, I wish we didn't, but we do. Then you can do about it. Now, what I generally do is this is a stainless steel bowl. Now I got my oven at 230. Okay, that's warm. I usually take this. I put a piece of tin foil. It doesn't matter if it covers it all the way. Don't worry about it. So you can get a little breath. I do it like this and put it in the oven for about I don't know, 20 minutes just till it warms through. And if you wanted to, you could sprinkle a little breadcrumbs on the top and serve it. It is absolutely amazing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you'll try it. And if you do, please tell me in the comment section how you liked it because we love it. All this will be eaten. If nothing else, Albert will eat it all by itself. <laughs> No, but please like, share, and describe with your friends, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.